Hi guys, good morning. Uh, my name is Eleanor Grix. I am your instructor for Art Appreciation. I'm making this video to welcome you to the class, to introduce myself, to explain everything you need to know to pass this course and get your requirements in. Um, I hope you'll forgive me as I kind of stammer and hem and haw. I get a little nervous in front of a camera and uh, I'm not the most technologically adept. So please excuse my uh, weird little awkward video. I'm like the world's worst Let's Player whenever I record. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Ding. All right, so welcome to Art Appreciation. Uh, I really enjoy teaching this course. Uh, I enjoy the textbook, I enjoy the material, and I enjoy seeing uh, my students' discussions and creativity. Uh, so first thing I want to do is show you how to contact me. The best way to contact me, of course, is through email. I'm available any old time, egrix at savannatech.edu. If you go to send email or to instructor information over here, that'll provide links to email me directly. Please note, whenever I respond to your email, it goes to your Savannah Tech email account. It doesn't go to your Gmail or whatever account. So make sure you know how to check your Savannah Tech email. Otherwise, you're going to miss a lot of information from me. Uh, I'm recording this video in my office. If you ever want to give me a buzz, that's my number. And if you ever want to stop by, I do have office hours. Um, you can find me at the White Bluff campus. Uh, I'm in the Academic Commons building, the sort of large uh, main building, and you'll find me on the second floor, uh, room 7221, which is kind of in this little sub uh, corridor called the faculty corridor. You'll find me here uh, unless I'm teaching a class typically. Okay, now I want to do the first things first, your syllabus certification quiz. This is immensely important. It's not a hard quiz. It's not even graded. But what this quiz does is it gives you access to the course and establishes your attendance. If you don't complete the syllabus quiz by the third day of the semester, you're going to get dropped. You're going to be considered a no-show and you'd have to email me to request reinstatement. And by the way, this counts for all of your classes at Savannah Tech, online, hybrid, whatever. Uh, you need to establish attendance by either going to your class, if it's a lecture course, or by completing your syllabus quiz. Some teachers might even require you to turn something in during those first three days. For me, I just want you to complete that syllabus quiz, but of course you're going to have to do real work to pass a grade. Anyway, syllabus quiz. Let me minimize this. All right, this is your art appreciation um, home screen. And as you can see, I'm so adamant that you get this syllabus quiz out of the way. It's right there. Let me show you something. Learning units is where your work is done. And look, it's not here. That's because I've locked you out of it until you've completed your syllabus quiz in Start Here. I click on this. And let me point out what you see whenever you open this up. Uh, first things first, you're going to see a very, very important document, due dates for your course. This explains what you need to read, uh, when things are due, when your assignments are due, when you have papers due. If I were you, I'd print this baby off and put it someplace important. I also have compiled a list of possible things that you might want to uh, purchase for your art appreciation course. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain now that there are going to be some art projects for you to do, but it's nothing involved uh, and it's nothing that you're going to be graded harshly on. But take a glance at this uh, to see what you need for this course. Uh, one thing I want to point out that you do absolutely need is a camera. And yes, the camera on the back of your little phone is appropriate for this class. Anyway, next is the actual syllabus. It's forever long, but it's important. So I recommend uh, breezing through that. And lastly, here's that quiz. It opens up 
and you click begin. Well, here's that quiz. Real hard, huh? It's just a way of confirming that you are going to comply with the syllabus and with my requirements. If you do, you just click true, save and submit. This, by the way, is how your tests are done too. Whenever you uh, click OK, yay, I scored 100% on that very hard quiz. And take a look at this. When I go to learning units, look, there's my learning unit where you turn in your homework and tests. I've locked you out of it until you've completed your syllabus quiz. OK? OK. So let's go back to my little outline so I can remember what's next. Ah, textbook. Okay, big question on day one. Do I need a textbook and what textbook do I get? Yes, you do need a textbook. And the textbook that we use is called Preble's Art Forms. And make sure you get the 12th edition. Um, but here's the way that it works now. Um, this year, Pearson has announced that they're not going to sell bound books in bookstores anymore. Instead, they're switching to um, an online format. So basically what you are purchasing is Revel Access. Revel is just the name of the platform and the online companion to this textbook. I know it sounds kind of weird, but you'll get used to it. Uh, so how do you get your textbook? Well, the easiest way is you can still purchase it in the bookstore. You go to the bookstore, you give them your syllabus um, or your class schedule, and they'll tell you what books you need. But whenever you go in there, they're not going to hand you a book. What you are going to purchase is this Revel Student Access Combo Code Card. That code card gives you access to Revel, which is the online textbook. Uh, the sticker price, if you don't get any sort of um, scholarship for books, is $109. Uh, within there is a unique code that you enter into the Pearson website. How do you access it? Well, it's also here in, start here. There it is. So you click on this, enter in that code, and you're done. Um, you can see I've also got a link here called textbook. I'm trying to um, make it so that you can access your textbook through Blackboard, but more on that later. Same code. Uh, it'll bring you to this website. So this is what you'll see after you've registered your, uh, your textbooks. You might even see other classes here. And this is your textbook. As you can see, it's all online. Now, this is important. No tests are given through this website. No homework is submitted through this website. I do all my grading, all your work through Blackboard. This website right here is only used for the e-text. Table of contents will bring up your textbook. So, for instance, unit one covers chapter one. You open it up, and this will have all the information you need to pass your first test. As you can see, it's all online. But check this out. After you have registered your code, you will be given an option to have a textbook sent to you, a printed book. It's not going to be a bound book. It's called the a la carte version. It's loose leaf. But I recommend getting that, requesting it. I like a physical textbook more than I do reading from a computer screen. Um, and another thing why having a physical copy is good, if you need to retake the class, you don't have to buy access to the e-text. Your e-text access expires at the end of the semester. This way you actually have something solid in your hands and you could potentially sell it to another student in the future but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, so you buy it from the bookstore. Um, I also wanna point this out. You can actually click on this link and you'll be given a 14 day trial 
for the textbook and the access for just this website, just the e-text, if you buy it from Revel directly, uh, costs $69. You can still request your printed copy. It'll be $19. You may have to pay shipping and handling, but the total cost, if you go directly through Revel, is $88. And like I said, it does come with a free 14-day trial. Helpful if you don't have the cash right now to buy a $100 book, which is actually, by the way, guys, pretty cheap for a collegiate textbook. But anyway, um, all right. Speaking of cheap, uh, I know that you guys want to save some scratch, especially if you're paying for your uh, book out of pocket. You can look for a used copy online. As a matter of fact, I took a look. Um, as you can see, some people are selling their a la carte edition. Uh, that's kind of a lot of money if you ask me. Um, I wouldn't buy these ebook things from a third party seller. Uh, you might be buying. Um, an ebook with an expired link. But take a look at this. There are some places that are selling books. See this book? It's Preble's Art Forms, but it is the 11th edition. Don't buy the 11th edition. Don't buy this book. If you do, you're not going to pass this class. I don't use this textbook anymore. The information is different. The slides are different. You're not going to be happy whenever you drop 20, however much, uh, on this out-of-date book. Also, definitely don't buy this one either. <laughs> this is the 10th edition, and I have seen people selling very out-of-date books. $177, what are they, crazy? Or this one here, this is the ninth edition. What's the matter with people? If I were you, I would just buy it directly from the Revel website or from the, your Savannah Tech bookstore. Or if you really uh, can't afford a book right now, fret not, I have placed a copy, actually a printed copy of the textbook in the course reserves here at the White Bluff campus. You can check it um, at the library counter. You won't be able to check it out and leave the library with it, but at least you can read it. And that's helpful if you can't get your textbook right away. Okay, so that hopefully answers your textbook questions. All right, now what about art appreciation? How does your grade break down? Four categories, homework, tests, you have to do a homework project and a test every week. Uh, there are also two essays. You can find the due dates in that document under start here in your syllabus materials. When your critique essay is due, when your homework and tests are due, and when your final paper is due. Uh, I would like to point out that the lowest grade in homework and tests gets dropped. So if you have to miss some homework, um, you basically get a week off. You can take it or leave it, but that's something that I like to offer my students because life happens. All right. So speaking of tests and homework, you access those through your learning units. Learning units, I've already showed you how to access it. Again, you're not going to see it until you've completed your syllabus quiz. And here it is. All right, so um, each week your learning unit, it opens on Monday and it closes on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Ugh, I should have said closes at Sunday. Your homework, by the way, is due on Friday. So unit opens on Monday, turn in your homework by Friday, and complete your test and your commentary before Sunday. All right, so every learning unit contains these four things. A chapter outline with a little comic of the day. I uh, include supplemental readings, um, not required, but like I said, supplemental. Your link to your test is here, and you turn in your homework here. 
Uh, let me point out also that Learning Unit 1 contains a mandatory uh, video for you to watch. Uh, again, I apologize, it's a little overlong. Uh, but yes, all of your work, all of your weekly assignments is under Learning Units. Learning Units is going to be your most used link. Um, your tests, I'm not going to show you how to access tests, you can figure that out, um, the instructions are clear, but every test covers um, a chapter or several chapters from your textbook up here. Uh, the tests, uh, they usually take about an hour or so to complete, but make sure that you've got your textbook handy whenever you take your tests. Multiple choice, true, false, I've got some essay questions. I don't put a time limit on my tests, but um, make sure that you give yourself enough time to submit it. Um, and if you want to know why you miss questions four, five, six, uh, you have to email me. I've set up tests so that it does not give you the correct answer. I have to do that to cut down on cheating. But email me if you want to know feedback on a test question. All right, now your homework worth 45% of your grade. You have a homework project due every single week. Um, like I said, your uh, learning unit opens on Monday, and by Friday, I want you to have submitted your homework project. You can submit it through the end of the learning unit, 11.59 on Sunday, but I take 10 points off per day late for homework. Uh, homework assignments are either a written discussion or a simple art project. Uh, sometimes you even have your choice of one or the other. You don't have to do both, but you can pick whichever one sounds most interesting. Um, I grade written discussions according to length, proper spelling, but most importantly the cohesive, convincing argument and a well-informed discussion. I grade your art projects by creativity, effort, originality. I don't grade art projects based on how well you can draw. Let me put myself in the middle and make it big. I don't grade art projects according to how good of an artist you are. I grade according to effort, originality, and just an attempt. Yes, you will have to make art in my art appreciation class, but it can be very simple, very rudimentary. As long as it's creative and well thought out, you'll be fine. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, feedback. In addition to submitting your homework, you also have to comment on a classmate's homework. You are going to reply to their discussion board post, and I want you to respond to it. Compliment them on what they did, explain what about their project that you liked, maybe agree or disagree with their written argument. Uh, give them a good substantial feedback uh, to at least one person's project every week. And this, by the way, is why your homework is due on Friday, so that you can spend Saturday and Sunday reading and interacting with your classmates in the discussion board, which I also participate in as an instructor. If you don't provide feedback on at least one classmate's post and submit it by the close of the unit, you will get a 20-point deduction on your homework grade. All right, and I think I've already shown you how to access your uh, learning units. So yeah, hopefully that answers any questions that you have for me. You can always email me anytime. I'm here to help. I hope that this video was uh, instructive, and I look forward to uh, getting to know you through your homework and your discussions. Thank you very much.